Maruti Suzuki has launched the all new Celerio in India and that starts from 4.99 lakh rupees and it goes all the way up to 6.94 lakhs for the top spec ZXI Plus with the AMT gearbox. Now this makes it a little bit more expensive than the Wagon R that ranges between 4.93 lakhs to 6.45 lakh rupees and even incidentally gets a larger 1.2 litre petrol engine. The Hyundai Centro meanwhile is priced between 4.77 to 6.45 lakhs. The Tata Tiago is priced between 4.99 to 6.93 lakhs and the Datsun and go is priced between 4.03 to 6.51 lakh rupees. Now you can clearly see how much of a difference is there in terms of pricing and they all are very closely matched. Few cars are actually close to the Celerio, especially the Tata Tiago, which is incidentally the safest small car that you can buy for your money with 4 star safety rating. Now let us quickly take a look at the new Celerio. How does it look, how practical it is and how much features it offers and even also what type of engine it comes on offer. The all-new Celerio debuts a brand new 1.0-litre dual-jet 3-cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine that comes with idle stop-start system and incidentally it was being used as turbocharged called booster jet in the Baleno RS earlier which now has been discontinued. This engine puts out 67 horsepower and 89 Nm of torque. It is mated to a 5-speed manual or a 5-speed AMD automatic transmission. Although the lower LXI variant only gets a manual, the top Three variants do get manual as well as AMT automatic transmission. In terms of fuel economy for the VXI AMT, it is rated 26.68 km per litre which is currently the highest in its class. The ZXI and ZXI plus AMT delivers 26 kpl, LXI returns 25.24 kpl, VXI, ZXI and ZXI plus with a manual gearbox returns 24.97 km per litre. To put into perspective, the second most fuel efficient car after the Celerio was Maruti's own desire with the AMT gearbox returning a fuel economy of the ARI claimed 24.12 km per litre. When it comes to design and dimensions, let's talk about what has been used under the skin of the Celerio. It's based on the Hardtech platform which is a 5th generation platform and that has been shared with other Maruti cars like Wagonar, Swift and Baleno. The all-new Celerio is bigger than its predecessor and it has a length of 3695mm, 1655mm in width and 1555mm in height and has a wheelbase of 2435mm. While it retains the same length and height of the outgoing car, the new model is 55mm wider than the older car and wheelbase is 10mm longer as well. Celerio also has a higher ground clearance at 170mm which is 5mm higher than before. In terms of design, the all-new Celerio is completely different than the outgoing car which had angular and squarish design which now is been replaced by a new smooth flowing curves and more rounded look. The all new headlamps is a more overlooking which has been characterized in this car with chrome strip running through a newly designed grille. The front bumper here is well sculpted featuring black contrasting trim on offer and there are round fog lights as well. In profile, the Celerio does come with body colored wing and lift type door handles as opposed to pull type door handles which was there in the older car. It also even comes with larger glass house and a tapering roof line and even also it gets a darkened 15 inch alloy wheels which comes on higher variants. The rear profile is a little simple featuring rounded tail lamps and well contoured bumpers as well. It is going to come with 6 color options which are all single tone, arctic white, silky silver, glistering grey, solid fire red, speedy blue and caffeine brown. The all-new Celerio has a brand new interior design for the dashboard and of course it is highlighted by Maruti's 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system called Smart Play Studio. It's first time offered in this car. It is flanked by vertical AC vents on either sides. The cabin also has an all-black theme which will be easier to maintain than the dual tone and it is contrasted well with Fox aluminium vents on the steering wheel, AC vents and center console. There are also a whole lot of parts shared with other Marutis like Wagenar steering wheel and instrument cluster while the arrangement of power window buttons on the center console is similar to the Espresso. In terms of material quality and the build quality overall, it may not really be quite as impressive as the Tata Tiago. In terms of overall interior space and practicality, it is going to be far better than the older car. And of course, it will also have a boot space of 313 liters which is class best. In terms of equipment, it gets Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, push button start for the engine, electrically adjustable outside rear view mirrors with foldable function, keyless entry, voice recognition, auto up down for the driver's window, steering moderate audio controls, 60 to 40 split seats and manual aircon controls. Yes, this manual aircon controls even comes in top spec variant while the Tata Tiago is the only car that gets automatic climate control. 
In terms of safety features, it comes with standard dual airbags, ABS with ABD, rear parking sensors, high speed alert, seatbelt reminder, seatbelt petitioners with load limiters, speed sensitive door locks and even hill hold control for the automatic variants. How safe it will be? Well, we don't know about the global end cap crash test rating of this car, but we really hope global end cap could able to crash test this car and get the truth as much as possible. And of course, this car is going to be rivaling the likes of the Hyundai Centro, Tata Tiago and Datsun Redigo like other compact hatchbacks in its segment. So what do you think about the all new Celerio? Is it really the one that you're looking for? Or you should really look at some of the other models as well, especially Tata Tiago, which I particularly recommend this one because this is clearly one of the best in terms of safety and of course offers very good, uh, good fuel economy as well and of course it does look good too so if you really like this video do like this video share this ahead and of course subscribe to my channel for more thank you